What's good? Hello. I can't believe you guys went to Diani, both of you. Yeah. Did you even meet? We didn't. He was in Diani. No, I was in North Coast. Yeah, she was in the ghetto. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know which one. Oh, Mombasa is the Mombasa ghetto, is the man. G- <laughs> Mombasa like, is not the ghetto. Wait. Nairobi is the ghetto. Nah, I'm come so on. sad I'm back. <laughs> No, I actually feel you, but yeah. the life in Costa is just the best. But, I know, right? It's yeah, fantastic. I absolutely miss it. Me too. But you, yeah. you both had different experiences. So you shut up. Uh, <laughs> where are my gifts first? Mm-mm, 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 you see, what mm-mm, happened mm-mm, was, mm-mm, mm-mm, what happened? Woo-hoo. Do you know, Aww. like, you tell me to shut up, I'm the one who brought you my No, no, buoy. I told her shut up. It was uh, her. I pointed <laughs> at the wrong person. Right? You these, went to these point are, These are my boys from Rajabu. Oh my God. Uh, hey. Right Seriously, up. you went all the way to the and bought me only mabui. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even bring like a chari. Hey, we ate these things like I'm sorry I didn't bring. Seriously? I'm sorry. You're so... Anyway, we actually, ate them almost every told, day. I was told like, uh, it, it's not the mango season, so the cherries that you find are not fresh. That's yeah, why I told you we, in the we had ghetto. A guy. We had a guy who had some He's really on his good tail, achari. He's on his tail. He's on his tail. That's fantastic. Hey. I don't know why you're trying to like <laughs> downplay my experience, by the way, and we are the exact same... Um, no, actually, what's it called? Because County? A, but, is it ca- <laughs> you know, nah, it's not. Someone was in Kilifi. <laughs> no, no, Kwale. Diane is not Kilifi. Yeah, Diane is oh, in Kwale. You are in the ghetto of Diane. No, no, no. Diane is in Kwale County. No, no, it's it's not not County. no it makes sense. sense. Yeah. 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 No, that's okay, yeah. Yeah. I think it is. I think it that's is. Yeah. True. It's actually true. Yeah, mm. it is in Kwale. Yeah, but I definitely want to move to Mombasa. Yeah. The only issue would be acclimatizing. Is it called acclimatizing? Hmm. To like how slow things are there. As a Nairobian, you'd get really frustrated because we had gone for a shoot and the guy who was doing locations for us would call him and be like, oh, want this location at like seven. Hmm. He's like, ah, ata satatu hakuna mtu. Unless mkuja satano. Like that tao yeah. doesn't have people yeah. until 11 a.m. Yeah, well, like Nairobi by seven, we're even late. At, you're starting at nine. Me, I chomoka. I don't know if I'm trying to have a Nairobi. Is it the kids seeing you? To go to Japa Kazi. To go Kazi. And by the time I'm leaving in the morning, yeah. like five, six, six in the morning, yeah. guys are, six is too late. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Guys are five, up, four, up and about, four, five. man. Because today I saw a guy jogging in the morning. I was just saying, ha. Uh, this is night running. You know, this was Mom- a night runner coming home. It's a night runner. <laughs> you know, in Mombasa, even ba- five I in think the morning. Banks, banks open at 9 a.m. Imagine. Yeah, but also, like, guys. You want, you want to go to the banks, do you at 8, 7? Nah. Mm. Nine, it's 9 a.m. It gets to 3 p.m. as a yeah, people just want to bounce Man. and the best go swatch. I've ever been given by a Costarian taxi guy. Mm. I entered the cab, you know, like my. my this was, I, I was, I was, this was a few years back. I was still naive. Yeah. Why are you driving like this? Hey, hey. Say, come on, 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 you pin, Once you enter, yeah, you you stop. pin a cup. No, they actually they call you. Yeah. And then I up, like, uh-huh. uh, up, This was me going to the airport. Yeah. So I'm like, no, nafika tu up airstrip. At inkulete anga. I say seven fifty. Ah, you are always. Allah. You also out of one thousand five hundred. I'm so like, true. are you serious? Yeah. Like, should we go but with the that, app? Yeah, even in Yali, that was happening like a lot. Like, like they like, all cut up yeah. from jump. Mm-hmm. Like they are the kings of going offline. They are on their own tip. The yeah. guy, there's a guy I took from coast. Mm. Uh, mm. And uh, got into the taxi. <laughs> so so you know you you've called it told you two thousand five hundred. You're like, hey, kwani nenda nakuru. But anyway, I say whatever. Let's yeah. go. And this is the cheapest because. Yeah. If you get those guests there outside the airport, they'll tell you five thousand. Madam, what's going to happen? Be a journey, buddy. He is just a funny twenty thousand. <laughs> anyway, so I, I take the cab. I'm like, all right, cool, let's go. So the guy comes and says, "Ah, ilikulete angapi kwa yo up." I'm like, nigga, what are you doing here? Because usually I know they'll start talking to you on the phone about this. Yeah. Guy says, "Ah, ah, we gear, gear, tsonge, we gear, we gear, tsonge." Do you know we talked still? We talked, we crossed the face. Ah, stop. We were talking. You're still negotiating. <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you head to your destination. Uh, I'm not so irritated, man. Right. But anyway, Coast is like that. But this is a question I've always wanted to ask. Coast, did you know Joyce uh, Kerry grew up in Coast? Bruh. 
Like how am I just finding this out? I am shook F. Yeah. For how long did you live in Coast? 17 years of my life. Where is your up? accent? My accent is there. Why don't you use it? Uh, because I'm not in Mombasa. <laughs> so use it now. <laughs> me want to hear. Nah, <laughs> siko Mombasa sahi. I'm so tired. Minge kwa Mombasa sahi ninge zungumza hivyo. Lakini you know what's happening. Yeah, Unajua yeah, how cool. watu walienda. Anataka kuongea hivyo. Do this entire nini episode in your coast. You can't you can't sustain it. Money. Excuse me. I I I've had that entire uh accent from the moment i was getting my flight but yeah. everyone has Going an accent to... when they land in mombasa no it's not landing mombasa mimi yangu ilianzia wilson nikianza river hata hata kabla tujafika nikisha pita standard group i'm just like shukisha me why am i talking like this because mombasa is for mombasa road yeah. mombasa road is mombasa you land in coast and you start talking to people like i am ha in shinga i'm like in shinga it's in the air But Kerry oku ipata cuz you went to a private school. Nah, let, me come tell, on. let me tell you. Let me tell oh, you. Nah, come on. Let me tell you. I I can well, nego- I can negotiate. Teacher. <laughs> yeah, okay. Come on. I'm listening. Costarians na nisi nimeguza. Why touch? Shit. What Costarians go to public school uh, public private schools. Private schools. Listen, yeah. public schools mm-hmm. wataongea watakoroga hawana otherwise. Hawana otherwise. Hawana otherwise. Mwalimu amengea anafundisha Kiswahili na kizungu kizungu na Kiswahili. <laughs> Lakini ukiingia private school, hesabu na Kiswahili pia. The most American accent you'll ever hear. Eh? Is from a Costarian who went to an international school. That's actually Shout out to Rosh. Shout out to Ken. <laughs> Big up yourselves. <laughs> ah, come on. How what one is ongea kizungu? Paka alipitwa majina ya English mbili. That actually makes sense. <laughs> See, akina Vanessa went to international schools, but when they talk swa it's like so proper swa. You know what I mean? Like it always shocks me. Like I hear her talk English and then she switches to like that mm-hmm. Kiswahili artist. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, wait a yeah. damn minute. International school. Oh, those are those okay. are the those are the best schools. See, at hapo unadanganywa at international school and then you figure there, oh, kumbe it's just it's 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 just a preparatory. Would you would you move back to the coast? Oh, you know that kid Jim Tim says, "Come here." Kabisa and St. Hannah's. <laughs> Wait, well, do you say Saint Hannah's is a Christian GMC. school? That's, that's the school you went to. Yeah? A Christian school. <laughs> There was a saint called Hannah. W- Wapi? I'm guessing, in the Bible. I don't know where the hell that <laughs> in, the, in the Bible. So, I don't know. Like it's like when you see Saint Anne's, you're just like, "Kuliko na Anne going?" Bible Hannah. Kuna Hannah. Anyway, Kona Johanna. Yeah. But 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 but. I. <laughs> I came back with jokes guys. I see you guys. I see. Anyway, so um, 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 shout out to you Kerry. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you Costa has pressure. Yeah. <laughs> pressure how? Costa has pressure. Pressure oh, how? Million of attack on a six pack. <laughs> I have never seen Niliona Matiti na Mataku of both of them. Niliona Nipples. Zaked. <laughs> I mean it's hot. So what exactly. do you how do you, how do you want someone what to dress you? What are you supposed to wear? Say, huh? guys. How do you want someone to dress you? I get Kombos is so stupid. Kombos is so stupid. She tried to call me. I was shooting by the way. And then I didn't uh, answer. Someone was clearly shooting their shots <laughs> right on the beach. I don't know. <laughs> and then I didn't answer. Yeah. And then I posted that um the video and she was like, "Ah, yeah. this one you are not answering my phone call. Kuna kunaonya chatu patako." <laughs> Copy. Yeah. There's a and you don't know, maybe not this. No, now this beach is a coastal. Mm. There's I don't know guys. I don't know. You know there's a two combination that this doesn't work in coast. Mm. Yeah. A Maasai on the beach. Yeah. Right? And there's yeah. so many, yeah. right? Selling you sandals. Just yeah. a nigga una fikiri ni toka Nairobi si kwa mbele slippers. Anyway, and you know like every this must there's there's a couple that actually approach me mm-hmm. and uh, every time they come to you like they just guess that you are you are not from there. Yeah. Yeah. And the first thing they say Jambo Kenya. Yeah. So I just look at them I'm like yeah. I mean Mambo. Yeah. Oh, when you are huko. But at least those ones who are trying to sell you something. Now you see just a Maasai sitting on the beach, right? So just ndio wewe tumetoka na mabikini zetu anasema hi. This is why I left. Hii ndio kusema nilitoka Kajado. This is the reason. <laughs> Uh, bro <laughs> you can imagine no, uh, hey watch let me not go further no, please story, don't, don't let me not go further with this story anywho yeah. mm-hmm. it's good to have you guys back yeah. Yeah, i'm glad we're recording back. actually uh yeah fuel price nyinyi kwa ni hamfeel the economy you have time to travel to so in fact honestly me i thought you guys had gone for a fact mission i uh, yeah. finding mission cuz price of fuel days to eight i thought of carrying no. the, getting yeah. on the expressway going with containers getting fuel from there coming back 
It's too expensive, man. You have really thought this through, man. No, I clearly haven't. <laughs> but yeah, but economy. Tuli rudi, tuli rudi kupata mashida. Mm. As we were just, you know, jivinjaring, mombasa rahaing, kidogo, kidogo. Oh, fuel has gone up. I'm like, wow. Mm. You know now, the, the, the people know who the three percenters on this show are. Right? Now, you're the three percenter. Ah. <laughs> you, you are the three percenter. Yeah, you're the three percenter, by the way. You're representing Which vacation have us. you seen me going to? Oh, okay. Which one? Oh, okay. I've, cool. I've just it's been fine. on the it's one. Fine. Yeah, just same. How many, how many have you been to? The one. Nah, come on. Yeah, you're in SA. Where's the one? South Africa? Wait, wait. That was work-related, guys. Uh, anyway. And so was this one, actually. So fuel, fuel, fuel in Iran is 440 bob for 60 yeah. liters. You know? Come again. 446 liters. 60 liters. Not really, really, the big one. The one guys fetch water with. Yeah. That's Kenya 20 shillings. liters, right? So three of those is 440 Kenya shillings. Now, when Kenya had a maji, yeah, 60 liters. Yeah. See, for 40. You Maze. buy that big uh, carrying gear, what, what, what? It's 440. So, Maze. tuna nini? Tuna hamia Iran, huh? Nah, <laughs> people, people, in, people in Iran actually are having it really, really well. I'm I should call them Iran. I think they, they need to change their name to like I drive because, as in, if fuel is that price. <laughs> nah, nah, for real, man. If fuel is that price, I, you tell me one place in a country, mm. in, in the world, yeah. that has fuel that's cheap like that. Because I think all over the world, people are complaining of fuel prices. Yeah. In East Africa alone, Honestly. in East Africa alone, uh, I think Kenya is the one that has got the highest price. Yeah. Uganda fuel right now is like uh, 180, 180 something. But also their price was, was on guess what? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Even went so up, here like, we are, we were just the same time. with fuel nonsense. Yeah. Economy, everything is tough. Everywhere mm. you go, everybody's telling you to do the Vongeza the Vong at Bay because of fuel. I'm just like, bro, sasa kushuke mingi anaji na fuel. Why you are shukaing me? Why have you added the price of fuel? Kwa ni petroleum gani? Toi ya remis kwa kichwa. Shuka hizo bila. Shuka hizo bila. Nini? Staki mafuta kwa kichwa ya. <laughs> Actually, speaking of it, Mona, Nini, like price over remis, Vaseline has not gone up. See, it's petroleum jelly. Bro, do you know what? Like, is they, it? They, is it? I mean, they call it petroleum jelly. So, see. Not refined. Not refined petroleum. Joe, what do you mean? I think they just get that. It, so, you have to be curious. See, expensive. See, you have to be petroleum. So, I I'll think it should, be, it should be the same price, just like that. What is petroli- uh, petroleum? <laughs> <laughs> What is petroleum? Uh, <laughs> hey, Jerry. Your my ancestors, ancestors are, proud. are just uh, yeah. hovering. What is it made of? Is it the same petrol? Yeah, That's it's, it's it. all yeah, fossil it, fuel. It's all from there. So, ukidedi. One million years from now, utakuna service vehicles, spaceships. <laughs> I am about fuel. to go and do a deep dive on how Vaseline is made. You wait and see. No, no it's like petroleum. Yeah, but I want to see the process and like, you know, Mm. Yeah, because I'm weird like that. Have you seen these memes uh, ever since the price of fuel in Kenya mm. uh, went up? Like uh, Kenyans were just posting memes of uh, Kwanza Hamid the frog mm. reading a book, or someone reading a book, and then it's written, me at home trying to figure out how to how make, to make petroleum. That's, that's oh, yeah, that's She honestly, probably wants yeah. to get Vaseline yeah. and then you go and distill it yeah, and yeah, you yeah, make yeah, petrol yeah. so exactly. that and you put, put it, in, it in your car. Yeah. Allah, Allah, Allah. How just subscribe? Check you, you. Hit subscribe. So at this point, I think Joyce is seated at home mm-hmm. trying to figure out how she'd refine Vaseline from petroleum jelly to fuel for her moti. Because I, th- <laughs> I think you know that's what? What, oh my god, that's what is that what you're trying to do? I think so. Uh, you just melt dive. the petroleum, right? You melt it. And then anyway, I'm kidding. And nah, there's a guy who refined it there's and guy. put it in there. There's a guy who's figured out how to make uh diesel. Ah, come on. From plastic. I'm telling you, what? this is in ah, Kenya. Come on. I kid you not. When you think you have to travel to the other Mombasa. And now you start putting plastic <laughs> diesel in your moti. The Bro. moment the moment as in your your car has developed problems now, it's gonna cost you more than just fueling your car. Exactly. Let me tell you, me, I've even thought of going forget Costo. I've mm. even thought of because you you know, I live in Nairobi, guys. And, uh, you know, you're like, <clears throat> let me drive to Islando <laughs> to see if the petrol stations there are charging less. You know the way you can buy a loaf of bread in Islando? It's cheaper than a loaf of bread this yeah. side of La Vie. Yeah. So I'm just saying, let me just drive to Islando and yeah. see. Guys, fuel is expensive same, in same. all of Nairobi. Same, ah, same. Come on, a fuel to in Kangundo. Mm. Come on. It's the same price. Same, same, but different. Mm. Mm. Do, you think, do you think Kenyans complain too much? Because... Uh, 
out of all uh, like East, East African Africa, countries, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when the price of fuel went up, it's only Kenyans who are online, you know, Oops. fasting about fuel. <laughs> like you want to drive to Islando <laughs> to go and to go and get fuel. Do you know what the deputy speaker told Kenyans? Yeah. yeah. But Ugandans are not complaining. <laughs> Well, first of all, mm, mm-hmm. go ahead, remember, go who is this guy who was saying to end to Chimba Kisima? The CS for 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 surely for CS Kuria. Surely, yeah. Mega, if you're if you're feeling like the price of fuel is expensive, you I just go dig. Go dig but away. this is what I found very interesting. Yeah, you know me, I'm a, I'm a practical human. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like you, G are not complaining. Koni wana tamu wana endesha garigani uko. Ama ni BJ fifties ni zimejaza uko. Maybe they have they all just driving uh, staplets. Yeah. You know that they. <laughs> Staplet. It's when they, they are, you know, it breaks off and then it just back his happy. Mm, so it becomes a staplet. It's an old version, right? So you're there with your moti. Come maybe on. you have, smoke. I don't know, maybe they're not driving Range Rovers. <laughs> then I checked. I did my research. Uh, you know me, I'm not 40 over here just talking uh, say, about Ugandans because, you know, we love mm. our Ugandans. Mm. Bruh. Well, last guys were over here weekend, we're just the guy. Fuel guy. Them, they were doing a huge concert. Cindy, Cindy Sanyu. You remember that people was in Blue 3? Yeah, yeah. I remember Blue And Three. Shiba. Yeah. These are two heavyweights, titans. Oh, yeah. yeah. My guy, they called on our concert. It was just like, so they were, I think, what what is what I'm seeing, eh? I mm. think Museveni, he does things and then he just give him concerts. Let's distract give them. Give them concerts. <laughs> and you guys are like, hey, let's oh, do this. Party. And then they wake up on Monday, they're like, fake. <laughs> We should have joined the U- the Kenyans when they were complaining. Oh, they were complaining. Okay. We should have made this an East African complaint, <laughs> right? Tanzanians, I'm guessing they don't even know mafuta. Mafuta una sema okay, sema mafuta imepanda. Wase mani ni wewe. Okay. Wase mani ni wewe. Na mafuta. Ni kuna vasilia. Taxes, taxes, mafuta kupika. Taxes, taxes. Na skewa mani tu na sema taxi, taxi, taxi. Apa kwa ni ni utaxi. But then how much is weird in Tanzania? I've not heard Tanzanians complaining about the cost of living. How much is weird in Tanzania? Right now, it's like yeah. six million. Yeah, probably. Okay, shillings. in Kenya, shillings, know, guys. I don't, I don't know. Somebody tell us. I want I to know. know. By the way, they and complaining. Exactly. Like as Kenyans are complaining. Ethiopia, I can understand. There's a lot of things going on there, yeah. and freedom of speech is not one of them. So That's I'm just true. like, you know, Kigali. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are living good. You're beautiful. Mwah. The rest of us. This is when you're coming back. She said, "UG Kenya." She yeah. said, "Why are you letting us complain in yeah. inside?" Yeah, but how much is someone you tell us how much it is? Just saying. So now, well, the Kenyans have got more cars than than people in Uganda. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like they have to explain. Yeah, not I, more cars. These mm. guys, I think they have small engines. Gari kadogo, kadogo. Yeah. You know, you're just like if you add even two hundred, it's just like. That's not possible. But you know, for Uganda, impossible. For Uganda, I'd say that their country is so small, so it's easy. Like probably one thousand bob fuel can get you from one side of the country to the other. <laughs> you just smaller than us. I, no, yeah, Uganda, Uganda is no. Kigali, Rwanda is under small. Rwanda is small. Yeah, Rwanda is small. But Kampala, Rwanda is small. Kampala, is not small. Is See, Rwanda, we don't want. We don't even want to talk about Rwanda because them they are good. Yeah, them See, they are. Them they are fabulous. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're doing fantastic. See, they say everything is happening. They have the the numbers, women. Mm. Everything is just like my wow, Rwanda. Wow, wow, wow. Just wow, 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 wow. 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 <laughs> Their cities Kigali are clean. Kigali, guys, you can hit us up in the comments. Yeah, section. let us know what's happening like, there. Uh, I think they walk everywhere. Because their cities are clean, yeah. they, like it's paved, the, the scenery, you, you just know. imagine you take a Kenyan to, to Kigali. Mm. Yeah. Straight from Sijui, Bungoma. Yeah. Umfikishi. No, same in London. Luya, 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 Luya. <laughs> but when you're driving <laughs> past <laughs> Nairobi, when you're driving Uko Nakuru, na cross division, you see, that's where the yogurt have been thrown. I'm just like, ukikunya yogurt choka Bungoma, itaishia wapi Nakuru. It must be guys from Bungoma. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you see how I do math? You see Bye. how I do math? Excuse me! <laughs> One plus one, five. How does Sasa. You? <laughs> Imagine you take this guy, the one for, you know, because he wants to squeeze the packet on it. Mm. And then they throw the nini outside. Bila kulamba mtepe. Umfikishe kigali ya yeah, tia mepata job. Guy. He, eh? amingia Rwanda hivya na sema, wow. <laughs> At you, wow. Eh? Arrested. My friend, moja kwa moja, because they are, apparently there are army guys just on the road just saying, just Lee, chilling. I dare you. Mm. <laughs> army guns. guys, not even I- police. In Kigali, Stop. there are army guys. The last time I was there, uh, there was army guys like every... I don't few. know whether they're army or cops, but they have guns. Mm. And like every few kilometer you find like they're on the road. Oh, nice. You tell me what you're going to... You litter, you're just like, hey, chunga mlima mbazana, wajani weke kwa mfuko. Because there's no way I'm throwing it on the street. Probably because they just don't a, have wars, so they need the army people to do army something. Army guys just like, what? You know what I mean? No, no I'm saying it's a good thing. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. As our ninis are being deployed to do it where? Anyway, Rwanda is just chilling. You'll be glad to know in Kenya we're celebrating fuel. How how would you like us to celebrate it? 
Fio, mm. by not going to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it, <laughs> the fact that the fact that if there's no if they if we don't have to leave the house and we just chill, nobody is going to spend money. Guys, we, are we all start cycling. We, we create a walking nation. Mm-hmm. Uh, people start working out. Yeah. Yeah. You see how white people maze would walk everywhere. Yeah, in Which cycle. People? Yeah, in cycle. By Wh- the way, in pe- Kenya, white people in Kenya, yes. in their country. Uh, ah. Mega, you think we haven't watched that team? A 900 kilometer kilogram mother. And it's a show on CG. Yeah, those are the ones that don't go to work. That's half the population, bruv. No, damn. America, like, sick of buyer. When I'm talking about no, Americans, no, let's not put buyer. Americans yeah. as a benchmark. Let's talk about Europeans. At least uh-huh. them, they are, you know. Yeah. Them, they're the ones who can walk and cycle every day. Are you having a boyfriend, Janine? Eh? A European boyfriend? No! Have you crossed over to the EU? First of all, you guys have still have not set me up on my dates, uh-huh. but that's a story for another day. I got day. you, don't worry. Uh, I got that's you. a story for another day. You know what uh, we need to do in Kenya? Yeah. Yeah. When you have a club, <laughs> okay, no, no, Mzinga. Because look, the price of fuel, the other day I went to fuel and I don't even talk prices, but it was a lot, right? And I was so, f- it's actually when I bought this car, the fuel that I used to fuel, uh-huh. now I fuel double. That's Same. how much the fuel has Same. been. Double, yeah. Yeah. double, right? So I'm how like, much you spend? I don't want to talk about it. Because you, know, you know what I mean? So, hey, Mina, because now I'm only doing office, office house, office house. But when I buy my booty, of fuel. <laughs> can there be conferry? Where can you kitukwa ice cubes? Pyros. Madame wakujapa. Na ile ngome neto aje? Dorime. Jumeka full tank. Dorime. 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 I agree. Yes. That's Eek. how you celebrate someone who even put half tank. How are in you? Their car. How are you adjusting? Because me, I've told you. Me, mm. if two place, as in, if someone tells me, and yo, so you come for this plan, I'm like, yay, send bus fare. Yeah, <laughs> too much fare. Too much fare. And too I'm not fair. even fucking around, yeah. guys. Mm. Like I take, take my moti, I take it outside, yeah. Yeah. and I know very well that I have put diamonds inside the fuel tank. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. So so me, and I'm also taking taxis. But yeah. it's much cheaper. Oh yeah, it is. I, I sit and look for discounts on taxi apps. <laughs> Or lie. If I'm pinning a, a discount, like you ah. If I'm pinning a ah. cab, as in I have to, I have to save money. If I'm pinning a cab from point A to point B, I'll check like three apps. The one with the least price is the one I'm taking. Stop. Even if it's called Nyagodi and Company Cab. Ah. As in, ile, 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 <laughs> 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 uh, but now I've found I've, I've I've had to get to a place where, like you know, because there's one app that literally all Kenyans bolted out of, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saying which one? No, they, I'm saying <laughs> you saying bolted no. out of there. <laughs> <laughs> And you know they tried to lock us in, but we said even with lock and bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the the grass is greener. Mm. <laughs> On anywhere else. The bolt aside. <laughs> You know, so those guys, they try to keep us there, but there's so many apps in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so they, that's the only way to move around. They keep us there, but since you're not Ubaya. No, me, I have an idea. Oh. <laughs> me, I have an idea of how to survive these fuel prices. Uh-huh. Farasi, mm-hmm. Amangamia. I think that's the best next As thing. As in, you want so us to be on the like, streets with... But then, you know, I saw a guy, bruh, I saw a guy being arrested. Rate. I saw a guy being arrested, it's riding like a Kenny horse. Rogers. Drunk. <laughs> so, a guy has Jomoka at his crib. He's gotten on the horse. He's riding, he's riding, he's riding, he's riding, he's riding. Then cops are just like, there's something weird. I don't know whether the horse is sick. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sir. Like, you cannot be addressing me like that. You know, I'm the president of this country. <laughs> <laughs> Shuka your host. It's gotta be a guy. Mm. No, Stop. no, of course it's not in Kenya. Oh, it's, okay. it's gotta be a guy. Ask me why. Mm. Why? It's because babes are used to riding drunk. I'm gonna come. Oh. So, guys. And also, um, and also, Joyce, let's be honest. In Kenya, you can drive, fly, and ride drunk. <laughs> Nobody has time. <laughs> not in a bad way. <laughs> like, if the cops are hungry that day, they will have time. Right? <laughs> but let's just be real. All these big clubs, mm. all those parking lots. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me all oh, those are Titoto runs? I'm here to tell you right now. 
We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. We don't care. Mm. Did you talk to us? Yeah, did you talk to us? What are you talking about? They show up with designated drivers. Why are we cheating each other? That's a lie. Yeah. Clubs should not have parking lots. It's a Fact. lie. Yeah. They should not, unless you have a driver. Yeah. Mm. And at, not at the one who's with you at his squad. So you go to club. When you're not going to have a parking lot, you're going to have a kitty. But do you remember that time we went for a road trip? <laughs> and then... <laughs> Drunk. Brian, we're coming to you from we Meru. Now, we had now. You see the way I'm giving this advice. Bruh. We've told guys now, you know, get a driver. driver so yeah. He was the designate, not like as in professional. Yeah, like hired. So, so we thought. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, like Meru with Bash, Nini, Nini, we're having breakfast over there. The guy has gone to catch cup. Mm-hmm. And not at TCG, one sip, two sip. Yeah. I don't know, the conquest Changa. Iyo, I'm Bruh. sure we got to know my thong. Breakfast. You know, Changa, they yeah. need spices, yeah. thongs and... And please tell me you're lying. Mortuary thing uh, is, please tell me, please tell me you're joking, things. guys. Girl, what is it called? Cons- Formalin or something? I think it's yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm yeast always formatic. trying to figure out why they put underwears <laughs> in Changa. And do you remember the last episode I told you about how oh the salon is? And then you, they, you take those panties, you huh? put them in the dini. Do you the know? Changa becomes so 100%. Do you know for you to know. make now nah, for you to make alcohol? Mm-hmm. Uh, see, fermentation needs to take place. Yeah, and one of the ways to do that is yeast. yeah is adding yeast. Mm-hmm. So if you can't find yeast, what do you do? Put panties you put in there. Infection. Stop infect the, lying. You infect, you infect, it. infect it. That's with why they do the that. Yeast. Oh my Stop. Lying. I don't know. Okay, honestly, and I've people never put willingly put life. this in their bodies. Your, guy, your guy Fortuna. Maliga, see for that girl I'm a We love this nini. You guys don't understand Me, just how. What? The, when we talk of economy, like the average person is not saying, when I'm driving your economy, I'm to be it. able to ingear, able to cook a passport here to ingear the yani. No. Okay? <laughs> The average person when they tell you they're broke in this country of Kenya, right? They will Somebody's drink underwear. 2,500 bob a month. Do the math for the rest of you in your country. Do a convert apple. 2,500 bob for one month of jobo. And then you have a famo waiting for you. What Man. do you do? That chums is for booze. That's all. Right? You will watch our jipange. <laughs> you Guys. just drink. There's not how you split it. And so the mama of that house is the one who's going there to hustle. Yeah. You see her. You see now, said, yeah, their mama sitting yeah. on the road. Yeah. Those mamas, the way, true, their men true, true. go, they come. You're so Drunk, frustrated yeah. in life. You have 2,500. Man. You can't even give your child. You can't give. So what do you do? You go, you go to mama nani. Mama gavanga, meka hapo, anasema, hey, kwanza ujue ni leo, ni metuma nani, ameiba suruali kwa yes. No, lazy. No, lazy. Pure. Una kunywa yoki tu na toka clear color ninety eight percent. What? Why would you think you'd be chopping a ninety eight percent drink? Because you don't have any other. You don't want to remember. Uh, you just want to be from zero to high immediate, right? So th- that con- combination there, I don't know what. Um, what they, someone can tell us what their panties are for, but like there's you see the they bus, told us. they chomwa yeah, the yeah they chomwa the, the, the underwear the and they just like inu chawi ni what yeah. So that's where we are at as a yeah. nation, guys. Like things are bad. Imagine like someone that drinking a beer blind. Alcohol, man. Imagine. Like, can you imagine? I thought that it's a good thing. He said it in Kikuyu. I died. What did you say? No, my kids isn't that great. So let me not embarrass myself. Nah, come on. Not so, embarrass myself. Our you only options options to do a costo. Petroleum. Uh, oh, and then also like no Jerry. AC in the car. You see these two fans for five hundred bob. Mm. That's what because that one is rechargeable. So from now on, there'll be no AC in my car. I'll be using the the, tufa, the electric fan. What I'll be holding the it windows? like this. <laughs> when you you're in traffic. When you do this. When you're in traffic. Yeah, you no, hold on. This natural air conditioning hold that wonders. When you're in traffic. Have yeah. you ever tried opening your window and you're in traffic? It's this, even worse. Do you understand I'm never in traffic? I've, I've, we, I think we've nice. already yeah. exp- explored this part. Must be nice. I arranged my life to make sure that I'm never seated in traffic. Smart. Ever. Smart. Right? So the maximum I've done in traffic is maybe like 15, 20 minutes in the past six years. That is a very smart move. You're welcome. We, ca- we can learn a lot from... You can, you can. It's not just jokes all the time. You can, There's you a can. very smart woman anyway, right here. Anyway, speaking of jokes, look on the same to ride camels. Hey, camels and Pharisees. Nah, come on. You <laughs> yes. know, it's more, it's more expensive. To, it's more expensive for horses? you to, to maintain a horse than, uh, than fuel a car. No, you don't have to own it. Just like talk to a guy who owns one and, you know... As in now we're starting a Pharisee. You... The Pharisee app. <laughs> Pharisee app. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Patent pending. Ngamia. Yeah, Ngamia app. Patent pending. That's yeah, you discuss a daily fee or a weekly fee and then, you know. The, the person comes to carry your team. Yeah. Nine <laughs> 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 
Niko hapa ni Niko hapo kanyaga kanyaga So now it's this guys for the estate the one that now kids go and uh, ride horses Yeah So now where does where does the guy sit What do you mean does you? the guy yeah. 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 It's a pillow <laughs> passenger <laughs> na ruka hapo nyuma alafu baby but the only problem the only problem i for see kenyans let's go by a guy business will start booming now you'll just one day you wake up and see 10 people on a horse <laughs> Honestly, but but and also and also being Kenyans, mm-hmm. those guys will find a way to complain. Like you ju- you'll just see the price of now horse riding to Panama. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that one there was a violation personally I wouldn't have it. Beya nyasi mepanda. Beya hey mepanda. Unaona kumekauka kwanza the way the fact that it's going to December. You know how yeah. December gets so dry. Yeah. 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 So they're going to be like ah, that. Akumekauka. Hakuna eh, nyasi hata hii nini farasi okay, jakula. Okay, then ngamia. And don't if before you ask me, me I'm telling you me Where I have seen from? a camel in Langata. More than once. So please I don't know. Nei langati na kuanga animals. Yo, me I've seen horses, I've seen uh, ngamias. Mm-hmm. There's a time lions hepard they over there just uh, roaming the around. Yeah. Oh, hi- hyenas. No, no telling you langata ishavala wanyama. I've seen the one for Rungai. Yeah. There's a school. I think it's multimedia or one of the others, yeah. right? One day you're hanging your clothes. Mm. You're just there chilling. Wana mm. <laughs> Watch out to check us they see. There's a hyena. As in and this guys had to run, bro. Yeah. The hyena is just like Akila kini hyena. Aina sensa. As in you can't Aina. keep this the laughing till at least you attack the person anyway. So that was in a That's school. Like, but animals animals in and around yeah, you animals in and around uh, that place mm. like always end up just finding uh, people and getting to interact with people or, or chase people in multimedia. Mm-hmm. There's also another video mm. of uh, baboons. Yeah. Baboons raided the school. I think guys were playing basketball. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that yeah. video. I saw that video. Yeah. And oh my goodness. Masi, those baboons caused chaos. You oh, think I haven't seen that. You think one. it's a riot like in the school. Apart from that, in Rongai, yeah. there's a video of a lion that yeah. was patrolling the, the, the estate. Yeah. If you just look at this video. As in it's so crazy and it was what, just chilling like it wasn't even no it's patrolling as in askar I'm, I'm going to keep you safe guys <laughs> but if you come out I will eat you first Fantastic. of all can you imagine that that one husband who was like late to go to go home and then the wife was like bono mefika sai and he, ge- he genuinely says there was a lion on the road <laughs> The wife would not believe him. Of course, like Kabisa. I wouldn't believe you. I mean, in Jinga. Jinga. At the end, 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 stop giving guys ideas. Yeah. No, for real. You know, you're giving guys ideas. Can you imagine coming home from the club and then you see a lion on the road? By the way, imagine you're going to ask, what was in my drink today? Just a lot, like. Bro, it was on the highway. <laughs> yeah, they've even been. You know, I can't Okay, honestly, uh, I know people have been saying that Kwani they've not fenced Nairobi National Park nicely. I'm like Kwani they haven't fenced Langata and Rungai together with the national park. Because <laughs> the rest of us, honestly, like because so you want to catch actually, us in. Actually, even South Sea, just put a fence around South Sea, Langata and Rungai. Wa ishi na wanyama uko, because clearly nini ndio wanyama. Uko, there's just. Hey, you just imagine that you walk. I saw this one on uh, Langata Road. Yeah. It was back in the day, I think like nine, eight years ago. Mm. In traffic. Yeah. In traffic. As in, you, you guys are driving and they're like, Ini lion. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just there like, you know. That's so, ni kwao. But now if you fence South Sea and then it starts flooding, where are those people where going has to go? Where has South Sea? I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> at least our Jeko walk with Karibu na fence. But just speaking of, uh, you're, you're saying how December is going to be dry. Yeah. Who said Who said? Guys, have you seen what has happened in Morocco and Libya? What do you mean? <laughs> oh yeah, the floods. Oh, Guys. it's flooding. Bro, because there's a city in Libya, a third of the city was wiped out. A third. <gasps> a third. Oh like, no. Three qu- a third. No, a third is three quarters. A third. Ah, yeah. mm. A third is a third. <laughs> Cleared. Hand- tens of thousands of people gone. <gasps> evil to bam. Homes, bam. Evil, evil. Right? And that shit is on its way here. Yeah, I've heard El Nino is coming. Right? And so, me, I'm just telling you guys, yeah? What did it say last time? Lift all your things from the floor. Yeah. You think I'm playing? Okay. You think I'm playing? Weka uneshi kwa estate, kwa apartment, na unajua. Me, you know me, I live in an apartment that was built in 1972. Okay. Mm-hmm. By white people. Right? Nini? You live in apartments that were built by Kenugia <laughs> and Ondari. <laughs> and Ondari. Right? And they went to the to the <laughs> city council and said, Sasa, must we must use all this steel. <laughs> 
you walk into the house you see a crack on the wall and they say <laughs> Yeah, imagine Lilian's a two-EV the time I moved in two years ago. <laughs> and you're just watching it happen. Yeah, right? So if you have things like cracks in your apartments, mm-hmm. you don't know. The other day it rained Kidogo, just Kidogo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a place in, was it Lavi? Mm-hmm. The, the perimeter wall and the motifs that had been packed. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. The motifs ended up like on the right. right. So you know me, I know Kenyans. Like I know you guys, I love you. Right? The one thing you are is very reactive. Proactive. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah. Aye, that one you leave for professionals. But reactive. Reactive. One thousand percent. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's not going Did you not hear that El Nino is coming? Ukiona chamwenzako cha drown. Chamwenzako cha drown. Tia chako barriers. Eh? Start digging trenches. Dying. I'm telling you guys. Oh me, my I, God. The last time we had El Nino, 50 people died in Kenya. Yeah. Mudslides, flooding. People couldn't go home because oh, no. the roads were flooded, right? Me, I've been watching our city. I even spoke to our governor. I asked mm. him, what's the plan? Yeah. This was like two, three months ago. Yeah. He said, yeah, we're working on something. One week ago, they started cleaning the ditches, right? As in, ku, ku, pekua, pekua. Yeah. Yeah. A week not ago, enough. And not this enough. is coming like... Yeah. Niggas, you can call this episode El Nino is coming because it's Honestly, coming, right? Guy, Just hope scared. it doesn't come with too much nonsense. Yeah, I hope I hope it's all like uh, one of those uh, news that you get from uh, people from a met department. I can't say the word in full. Metrological. Try. We have time. Uh, after petroleum, wait, wait. as in, it's, I, I hope it's one of those that they tell you, oh, this it's going to happen, or it's, it will rain tomorrow, yeah. and then it doesn't rain because what if if El Nino actually does come and mm-hmm. the flooding is terrible, yeah. Nairobi is going to suffer. Actually, even like most of Kenya. Thank you. Oh, mm-hmm. man. Thank you. So this is what you need to know. Oh, no, coast. Just imagine coast. Coast, coast. And, and this That's is me just jatas. speculating. Yeah. This is me just speculating. Mm. I remember last time there was tsunami. Mm. Yeah. The coast was also kind of hit by mm. the after effects, yeah. right? Mm. Of the water flooding, 100%. but we yeah. weren't hit properly. Yeah. Yeah. But what I noted from that, we were not prepared at all. Mm. Completely, Right. So, ukiangalia, kuna watu wakuna manyumba hapo kwa majimaji hapo, wanasema, ah, unajua si, tunaogelea, tunasema, ah, you know, yeah, that's great, that's great. Kuna beachfront property hapo, ngoja, sale maji taingia, uko, 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 yeah. Baringo has doubled in its size. Mm. Lake Baringo, really? doubled. Mm. So, imagine if you had, as in, you used to look at Lake Baringo like this. Unanauko! Mm. Now it's here. Your, yeah. your house is Lake Baringo. It's inside And Lake I don't know Baringo. if it was the same in Diani, but the tides were really high this last time oh, yeah, I the, was in were. Mombasa. I was they like, were. why is this water so close? I feel like you missed an opportunity. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. Let's go. Thank you. I feel like um, this is a good place to play and a game. The <laughs> Wait, the tide oh. was high in Diani, yeah? Yeah, it, it, both sides, north and... Because I remember thinking, I don't, the water is not usually like this. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, it's quite wavy. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad you guys have brought it back to the coast because there's something I noted, what? yeah? Hey, you know that you guys are the stereotypical black people. What do you mean? What do you mean? Stereotypical. What do you At mean? least carry a lijaribu swimming pool. Yani ocean muna yangalea tundio ile ocean. I go in the ocean. Ah, where is let the video? Me where is the video? I have to take a video of everything. No, no, let I go me in tell you something. Who is trying to go in the ocean? No, let me tell you something. Hapo kwa beach. I do not to mess. To the Masai's. I do not mess with the ocean, please. Do you know we only know 5% of what is in the ocean. Do we you know, know more about Joyce, space Joyce, than Joyce, we do Joyce, Joyce, about Joyce, the, ocean. Do you know the ocean. You want me to swim there? The ocean You're knows mad. nothing Joyce, about me. I don't care. Joyce, ah, just no, be honest. Yeah, do care. not nah. swim in the ocean. Bro, I was a, you didn't see my video. I was a professional swimmer like my entire school life. What? Oh, for like, what? Like, what? I have medals oh, yeah. and everything. Yeah. I have the medals and everything. Where will you find your Exactly. Mimi, mm. I was a captain of my swimming team. Ah. Oh, okay, so you see, yeah, I can swim, but the in, ocean, uh-huh. the ocean, the I ocean. am not messing with the ocean. As in, nearly swim, Kamisa. You guys, you know why the ocean is salty? I do not mess with Mother Nature. Have you asked yourself why the ocean is salty? Why? As we wind up. Oh, God, why? So it all started in India. <laughs> ah, Siri is answering. Yeah, it all started in India. <laughs> Do you know, in India, they're shitting and shelling and, and swimming and doing everything in this water. Ew, and don't even say bari- that. 
are even apps. doing their, 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 their guys I'm serious y'all need to know why it's called the Indian Ocean so on this side you're told May Day on the other side <laughs> of the India ah, nah, right no they, even even their even their what do you call it well ex, uh, you know exorcism um uh, when they burn, when they when you die. Oh right, when they do the when they burn your body, uh, uh, cremation. cremation. Cremation, yeah. yeah. They do it in the water. Really? They put you in a in a wooden thing oh, like this, yeah, and, then right? they, and then they put and your then body you float. Float. and then they light it, and then when I feel like, let's go, no, nah. <laughs> now you you're just over there. <sighs> and then you're asking me, what happened to me in the ocean? Nah, no. Nah, teacher. I do not nah, mess with mother nature. Coast, 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 nah. coast, mm. When you're driving into north, no. north coast, right? Yeah. Kuna ka smell yeah, hapo pali na kuk- you. What do you think that is? See the ocean? Those are the spices nah, from India. Nah, come on. Everybody knows <laughs> that the ocean is salty because the land never waved back. Are we just going to look at each other or are you going to subscribe? Nigeria has been popping, man. <laughs> This last weekend, well, okay, so we've talked TZ. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, we've talked UG. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kigali, we know what time it is. Yeah. Right? In terms yeah. of fuel, mm. let's cross over to West Africa because uh-huh. enough fuel, fuel, according to what the president has told us or the CS, this, it's really Russia that's causing this problem. Yeah. Wow. And Putin yeah. just needs to stop putting his business in Ukraine and just <laughs> allow us to. <laughs> anyway, so Nigeria, mm-hmm. they've been, well, as we're talking about fuel, yeah. not just because they are bowlers. Yeah. Right, yeah. they put aside their mambos for talking about fuel. Talk about an artist who died. There's an artist right. called Mobad. Bruh, that's yeah, too so long. Okay, I've just reached a place where I'm like, hey, this in entertainment industry for Nigeria it's toxic. That is a wild story. That what is happened? actually a very wild. So story. he was signed to this record label, I think, under Naira Male, mm-hmm. uh-huh. right? And you know when you have like upcoming talent, but he had a bunch of hits. He had like six hits, but mm-hmm. you know in Nigeria, even on the camera. <laughs> Like everybody's a hit Everyone maker. is an artist. Yeah. So yeah. you have to have like 6,000 hits Kablo you know? yeah. So he was doing his thing. Yeah. There was so much pressure. Apparently mm. this guy was even talking about how people were bullying him. So he was mental. You know, nini, nini. apparently he was beaten until he died. So he's, he died from his injuries. Yeah, I heard that story. Actually. Yeah, and then now the family buried him, chap, chap. Now the, the, the cops have decided to now start doing an investigation mm. and they're pointing fingers at his record label. Mm. They're, like, the artists who've jumped in, they're like, ah, where ne Ramale ni kukupata, where na nina, as in. But you see, it's all just speculation. Yeah. yeah. But it's hot. It's like a Nollywood movie. Yeah, so, but as like, is, they don't know who beat him up. Okay, me, I'm hearing because uh, when that story broke, I was with someone who was actually a fan. I was sitting next to someone who's a fan of uh, Mobad because me, I was like, Who's that? And then she played the song. I was like, Oh, I know the song. I just did that. Is that a Nigerian? The, uh, no. I actually don't even know his music, by the way. Yeah, like I had a song and I was like, yeah. oh, Okay, I know this song. Yeah, I just yeah. didn't know the artist. And she like showed me this entire thread of how from a few weeks, maybe a few months ago, and they started because and yeah. he wanted to leave and nini, nini, nini. He used to put up threads of how he's gone to the studio and he shows, he, like, he even had a bite mark over here. Like, he had been beaten. So he had put it over there. And then the next thing he said that he, oh, if if I if um if I'm ever if I ever die, just know these are the guys who did it. Rough. And then now during when that whole thing was trending, the wife said, You guys have made me a widow at 24. Bro, it's such a sad story. Yeah, but they were like they had been having deep for like a really long time. And they were there's he was actually showing proof of him being beaten. Mm. Like he even had a but who bites someone? Like he had a, I, I would forget because it was like an open wound. It was like a big open Ew, wound over bro. here. Yeah. And he had been beaten. His face was black and blue. It was ba- and he was in the studio when he was taking this video. So now you know oh, when Nigerians so. are not talking about fuel. Yeah. yeah. Right? You're thinking it's an African thing. So guys are saying he was murdered. Yeah, but everybody knows South Africa wanted to join the conversation. They just didn't have electricity. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I will you leave my Mzansis alone, please. No, this is an African problem, guys. This whole yeah. thing. But more bad, man. So, you know what? What This whole story, what, what has come out, right? You know the way you see WizKid, you see Barnabo, yeah. you see guys popping, right? Mm. The the cost of success, because now guys have trivialized this conversation. You know how like a story becomes, trend, it starts yeah. trending and everybody starts chiming in. Yeah. And then there's those who just start talking. Like now you just have Nani Marcus over here. like, Atawa supporting new talent. Now, Lisa Marcus, so leave me to artist wapi. Yeah. You know, guys have just singled the conversation. Yeah. So I've seen someone saying even stuff like, Ati, uh, the Nigerian entertainment m- m- music industry. So you know they have the biggest, yeah. right? Yeah. Ati, you can enter, you can hang out to them, but collabo, that's where they draw the line. Ah, stop. And they were making it look like it was a bad thing. Okay. And I just said, as in, isn't a collabo a preference? Mm. 
Honestly. Isn't it an artistic preference? Yeah. It's not a tile to at come with collab. Yeah, but also unaweza kwa any spending vibe yako to yani by. You know? You know. So as in guys are being dragged to do guys I even saw someone saying at oh Rema is not even talking about this as in they're dragging guys. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, and then I just remembered something else. Um, none of his music videos are under his channel. They are all under Naira Male. Yeah. So this baby was telling me. So now the way he's after his past after he passed and his song started now trending and I think it got like almost 10 million streams or you're something. You're making money for him. You're making money for the guy who allegedly him. Please let me not. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Allegedly. Because nobody you're knows. You're making that guy nobody money. Nobody knows. Yeah. Yeah. But if you go on the internet, mm. yeah. hey, bro, you'll have like 10 suspects. Uh, so is it Nani? No, it's yeah. Nani. It's, it's like a Nollywood movie. Okay. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people don't understand how music works mm. and contracts that you're signing, mm. right? You do remember? Namu zini kamie, guys. Kamula. Right. Ecstatic. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Great, 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 great talents yeah. that were shut down by contracts. Mm-hmm. Imagine. Right? Yeah. So it's so important that, because you look, I can get you, Joyce. You can be my my my, my signee, mm. right? And you have nothing squared. Yeah. You want studio time, that are, and I invest in doing all these things, right? And we sign a contract that in four years' time mm. is when now you start. Even in abroad, yeah, even I think Maju, it's, what, which artist is that was saying she's she's Tinashe? Yeah. yeah. Tinashe Chomoka had her record label. Mm. She bought herself out, and she was saying she didn't want to do a tune with R. Kelly. Yeah. She didn't want to do a tune with Chris Brown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But her record label made her do it. Oh. But and you're signed under them at that point so like you know there are artists who have never guzzed a single penny from their earnings okay. yeah the record label has to make because the first when you put the, paper, in the pen to the other paper mm. you signed 300,000 exactly you didn't ask yeah um, you you thought because you're, you're coming from hunger you're thinking you're being given a check for 300,000 mm. right yeah. but it's like your upkeep I go to do media tour for you mm. I cost it there Da, 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 I cost but, it. And so you now you come to say, ah, na funye kazi yote mazina sijanini. But I'm not saying this is what happened to Mobad. Nigerians, yeah. please don't come for me. Oh. Hey. I wouldn't be surprised because labels have been taking advantage of artists for decades. And we know this, yes. like for a fact. Even yes. there's a story Neo gave in one of his interviews, like the first time, because he used to be a songwriter for the longest time. Yes. So he didn't know how like being an artist works. You know, someone like when he, it was time signed contracts, whatever, whatever, he was given an advance. He didn't know how advances worked. So he started taking his friends out out, G bot, ninis, G what, 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 what. So later he comes to find out you owe the label this money. Yes. This money that you're bowling, bowling with. What that, did you think? Yeah. But he said he didn't know. But what did you think? He didn't know back then. Like it was very, you know, hush, hush, how these my labels used to work. Yeah, so somebody so just he like, got excited and just. I love this voice of yours, you know. <laughs> take Go, this money. Spend on yourself. You know, and Listen. I think they, they really take advantage of the fact that p- these people are desperate. Because by the time you're looking for a label, it's because you can't do these things by yourself. You got to take. So gotta, they give you kidogo money and you're excited. You can learn from girls. Yeah. And girls, you can learn this lesson right mm. now. From Girls, you can learn from artists mm. and artists, you can learn from girls. Mm. Right? Sponyo. A Sponyo ain't gonna give you everything you ah, you're need. You're gonna have yeah. to pay back, man. A Sponyo can ah, never give you. Let me tell you. A Sponyo will not give you until mm. you say, oh, you know, I need money for laptop. Yeah. And they give you a t- How much is the laptop? 150 shika? Mm. No. <laughs> because I've sorted your need. Mm-hmm. I need to give you 30. And then keep promising you that the rest laptop in Akuja. <laughs> so you now you know, ah, I make a deposit. I must stick around. I'll cool out those goodies. And then the deposit the will, will never will never come. By the time I'm done, you owe, I owe you. Bro, like you owe me. Imagine. Money. Because as in you'll be seated there ex, you know, with that ex, ex, expectation that mm. ah. No, he'll do those things. Yeah. Yeah. See, he's already given me 30K. Yeah. That's how a record label works. So there's there's two things I'm getting from this. And uh, I think uh, the industries uh, need to... Uh, need to at least take charge and be responsible. And by industries, I mean the countries that uh, uh, that that artists are in. Mm. Uh, one is that the, art, the, the industries need to educate artists, especially y- uh, young and up and coming artists yeah. who are getting into uh, music or whatever creative space that they're in for mm-hmm. them to actually understand one, uh, the repercussions of yes. uh, of your decisions in whatever contracts that you sign yeah. and uh, how to just uh, go about and plan ahead and just have uh, have have 
have your path set even before you begin mm-hmm. for you to know I'm going to do A, B, C, D. By the Bro. time I get to this point, yeah. I'm going to uh, succeed. And another thing mm-hmm. is uh, they need to check on uh, mental health of artists, especially yeah. the, the MOBAD, yeah. MOBAD yeah. Uh, situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because whether the, whether the industry you're in is performing or not, if the industry is performing and it's booming like in Nigeria, mm. I feel there's so much pressure for artists uh, to go and perform so that if you feel like you're from the studio and you've recorded something that is dope, you have an EP that you feel that is fire. Mm. And then once it goes out, mm. uh, people don't really uh, fuck with it, it yeah. or vibe with yeah. it. Uh, it, it. It does something to your psyche for yes. you to feel like, That's you know true. what, That's Maze, I'm not doing enough. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're in an industry that is not performing, like basically music uh, there is is like uh, the third Kenya. thing. <laughs> Kenyan music industry is better. I think you can't compare it to Kigali and Rwanda. <laughs> nah, for real. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 If okay, I tell you to start naming like, the artists, okay, that's true. Okay, that's true. We're yeah, talking that's like true. money, that's true. and mm. I'm saying this: Kenya. I mean, let's twatche mm. kudanganya, right? The, I can count in my hands how many artists are making money. Facts, yeah. right? Facts. Yeah. I mean, this is a facade. Mm. And it's great that you've mentioned that about mental health, but I like what you've said and I want to challenge it, mm. right? So, okay, as a young artist mm. or anybody, yeah. even as an actress, mm. you're getting into the game. The only thing I'll tell you, nobody gives a fuck about you. Yeah. I yeah. swear. That's true. We just want to use that thing that we see in you. Mm. So, ukona mm. talent. Mm. That's what we want to see. And mm. the moment we don't want to see it, nobody cares that you, whether you're eating or you are, your, your family is alive. Mm. Why do you think like, for example, the cast for Taidi High, so yeah. they were out here. Yeah. Yeah. We had to changa for them some, some chums. They Man. got into alcoholism, yeah. right? So, me, I'll say this. If you're signing a contract, don't wait for you someone at your OSG, nee, 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 they'll, they'll fix everything and everybody will be happy. Mm. No. Don't sign a contract mm. without a lawyer. But you see, that's easier said than Listen done. Listen to me. Okay. Don't sign a contract. Mm-hmm. Even in my big age, yeah. I have signed a contract. Mm. I, I, I did some engagement with somebody, mm. but we didn't put it down on paper. Mm. And so, Kumi, this guy had nothing but time. Yeah. You know, we had to settle a lot of court. Mm. Right? But it's because of contracts. Like anything, just insist, mm-hmm. put it on, and then find someone a legal mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something, Joyce. You can't tell me it's not possible. Who is a 19-year-old going even to go and find your, a lawyer? In your school, don't you have people who are studying? Where is a 19-year-old going to in your, go and find uni, a lawyer? You don't have somebody there in the, in, even yeah. in the estate. No, I agree. I'm just saying, one, these people have been taking advantage of young, talented people and that's what I'm for telling decades. You. So, Appa, Apa, there is nothing they cannot tell you. Mm. Sasa mwenye ata watch a video. Box. Yeah. Watch a video that was my, window send contracts. No, that's my second thing. Yeah. Now that the information is out there, yeah. back then it wasn't. Yeah. People mm. didn't know these things. Mu yeah. unakujua hapa na manager, munapatiwa VIP treatment, nini, nini. Apa, wanakuwa ambia. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, and you're 19, 20. Yeah. Of course, utaingia yeah. box. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So unfortunately, they have done that in the past. But now, now yeah. that we have so many platforms for this information, people can move smarter. Makasu, si send to your a contract. Mm. <laughs> hey, a lawyer have a Marcus will check your contracts mm. for you. So, so in in that case for Mobad, yeah. I mean it's so sad. R.I.P. Right? It's yeah. captured the whole the imagination. And if you haven't watched it, check it out because mm. it's what it's but he was a talented guy. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard his music? Mm. The guy was talented. I'm yeah. just like, I, I, there's one song, and then he's like, he was singing about the things that were happening. He says, When I die, people will celebrate you, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you the amount of people that have posted this guy. And I'm sure they never even once listened to his truth. But they yeah. honestly, yeah. So sad. That's life. It's so you gotta life. do what you gotta do. Let's come back to Kenya. Yeah. As we wind up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and on that note, there's a post I saw you a while back and I, I think it still rings in my head. If you said, um, the quote was saying, if you think about how quickly people forget the dead, you'll stop living for others. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta live, man. Yeah. Yeah. Stop, please. Yeah. Stop Occupy living for others. They forget you. you. This more bad story will be done, unfortunately. In the next week, we'll have forgotten. Actually, before we go to come back to Kenya, mm. uh, that what you've just said about living fully, yeah. right? I don't think we can actually live fully in this world. Mm. Not in a bad way. Mm. Right? Because we are... The other day I was watching... I've, I've started to realize that the algorithm mm. is curating our minds. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Who are you? So, there's a YouTube channel that I watch. Uh, uh, they're, they're from Europe. Mm. And so this guy was locked up somewhere and he was... Th- 
or on purpose. Yeah. They were, the isolation. They wanted to figure out if he could do it. Mm-hmm. And while oh, he was like there, my experiments. Yes. Oh, okay. While he was there, and he was he was saying all, all the things that were running through his mind and the quotes. I was like, guy, Instagram. Instagram. Okay. We're just one Not big. To block. We're mm-hmm. one big. That are ju- we're just regurgitating the content, and like this person in Norway, you'll meet them and they'll say, "Yeah, cause snitches get stitches." Where the f- did we get that? Mm. Like all these two sayings, like you know now, like our life mantras are just a bunch of quotes that yeah. you saw on Instagram. Yeah. yeah, and the algorithm is really corroding my mind, and I, I had to like eject myself, and I'm I'm checking now what an original thought looks like. Mm. We've had this conversation. Mm. Original thought, like ile. Not because you scroll somewhere and you saw someone had written uh friends, blah blah blah. And then now you go sit down with a bunch of peeps, right? And you start quoting these things mm. as if they are coming from your mind. You even say, I read somewhere. You ain't never read. <laughs> <laughs> you just say I scrolled somewhere. Right. Yeah. Right? Because the last time you opened a book to actually read something. And then, because when you read, you finish with, and then you uh, analyze, right? There's more analyzing we're doing in this world. We, whatever you see, if now today you follow me, you like my vibes, you like what I'm ab- about, everything I write on my Instagram yeah. becomes your mantra. Yeah. The Bible truth. <laughs> you go and pick it up and uh, And then you quote it because yeah. You, yeah. You, you, you take stuff in by what you see, mm-hmm. right? So if you go somewhere and like, if you drive from here, from Nairobi to, Mom, to Kisumu mm-hmm. and your eyes are open, Mm-hmm. On the way, you're going to be seeing stuff, mm. right? Yeah. And even if you don't say anything, even if it's just passive, and I ask you, but then Nakuru, did you? Oh yeah, I noticed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that be, it's it's etched in your mind. Do you know how much is etched in your mind right now? True. Think of your click rates, scrolling, mm-hmm. all the stuff. Like you even now, you even care about uh, Suji Donkey's rights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you saw something happen. Because someone you donkey. like. Or someone you who fits your because the algorithm even knows the kind of typical kind of person you like to see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I shame on you, Mazi. You're just sitting there laughing and you haven't subscribed. Hit that button. Yes, you. That's a fact about life, in that everything you know, all the information that you have right now is something that you've seen, mm. you've been told, mm. or you've read. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't come any other way. Yeah. Unless you're like in you know, Archimedes who, who you, you know go who and came take up a with these things. And then you see <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, Eureka. But unfortunately, the stuff, the people you're following, man. Yeah. You follow me. What are you trying to do with your life? Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> what are you okay, saying? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> right? But uh, the, the, I worry about these things. Wake anyway, moving on. Kapal Let's come back to Kenya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, mm. right? Right? The biggest drug. Hey, do you know what I found out this week? What? That our politicians are on drugs. What do you mean? Our politicians are on drugs. What do you mean? I didn't say it, they said it themselves. What do you mean? But, but we know drugs. So, so. so <laughs> I- <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, now you get I already it. know where uh, this is going. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, the other day they were over here on the internet on Sunday. Mm-hmm. They were over here. You, Kwenda Uko. Ha, ha, hu, ha, ha. This is the governor of Nairobi. The governor of the great city of Nairobi. And a member of parliament were exchanging tweets. Mm-hmm. And you could check them out, right? And They're exchanging exes. Bruh. They were, these exes were going back and forth. <laughs> back, back, forth, forth. <laughs> with, as in, this uh, beef just came low, low, low. Low. Stop lower. Well, we're just like Aki, I can't come down. When they go guys. high, go lower. I cannot come. <laughs> they were so disgusting. Like so, like, they were basically fighting about. I think the member of parliament wants to be the next governor. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to like you know like yeah. you ain't even doing nothing. You ain't even doing nothing. Right. And then the next thing, the governor just tells him, "Listen, if you take that white stuff out of your nose, <gasps> emotional damn it." <gasps> No, that was low. It gets lower. It gets lower. The guy says, ah, okay. I used to take the white stuff, a uh, bangi and alcohol up until 2020. So, you know, all those videos where you see him yeah. saying, uh, respect yourself. You're talking to an educated man. He was high that as was a coke. kite. Oh my goodness. I would right. say that guy was on drugs, man. Like, not because I knew, but his behaviors. Shit, right? Yeah. Like, tushnyao, tushnyao. Oh, guy, please. <laughs> Evolution. No, as in he was shooting a shot. Guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Guys. So he stopped. Yeah. Right? Then he said, this way it gets interesting, that the governor is drinking, smoking, and smoking bangi. And you know, the reason I'm talking about this, not because of their silly teeth. For you who don't know what bangi is, it's weed, the kush, the marijuana. Oh, yeah, the, the kush marijuana. Medication. 
What I found interesting is in Kenya, weed is illegal. Drugs mm-hmm. are illegal. Yeah. 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 Right? Me, do you know how many people I know? Okay, I've heard about it. Hey. I'm locked up. Hey. Locked oh. up. Oh, locked up. Oh. Locked up in prison because of a roll of weed. Oh, damn. Hey, hey. Yeah. Right? So when I see people just callously talking about drugs and especially marijuana, which I don't think should be illegal, right? Mm-hmm. Um, or criminalized. Maybe that's yeah, the word. It shouldn't be, it like, shouldn't be criminalized. Shouldn't and you see someone just years. saying, anyway, see, even you, the governor, you smoke. Ah! There's somebody right now who's just saying, yo, Mr. Kiku, collect your sabuni, you know, yeah. because he, he smoked some kush or he we oh, had yeah, a roll of kush. Yeah. It pisses me off, man. That's true. So, I mean, I was, I watched that and I was like, okay, cool. Next time guys fight on video. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I, I, don't, I don't want to be like, <gasps> you're like, oh no. Yeah. <gasps> I'm just oh like, my put God. a video, go live how and long just was start each other. It was long. Yeah, because I just saw a headline. I was like, none of my business. And I it continued really today. Ah. I, no, yesterday. I, really? Yeah. As in, they're going in, and I'm, I feel like this is going. This is going to be a, a, a show. It's called the governor versus the incoming. Okay, well, I don't know whether he's the incoming, but like Babu versus the governor. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. They're coming I mean, at each other. I mean, I just saw that headline and I already got a headache. I was like, no, what nonsense? What fresh hell? is this. So yeah. you're the one who's telling me what was actually going on. I had no idea. Now that you're all caught up, now that we know we're broke, now that we know that uh, the our, rest of the, oh, our African our brothers and sisters are, are just drugs. chilling. <laughs> chilling. Right? <laughs> yeah. I think we can end it here. We can.